It's no secret that there are many different 85mm 1.8 lenses on the market for you to choose from. Prices can range from budget friendly to not so budget friendly. And here I have the Yongnuo 85mm 1.8 DF DSM and it comes in at $369. I will be honest, I had no idea that Yongnuo even existed until they reached out to me. I turned down a lot of offers to review lenses, but something told me to say yes because I have a good feeling about this lens. It's been a long time since I've shot with an 85mm lens, so we're going to put this lens to the test and we're going to see how it performs when shooting portraits. And the ultimate test will be to see how this lens performs on the Sony a7CR. Many people will say that pairing the 61 megapixel sensor with cheaper quality glass is doing this camera a disservice, so we're going to see about that. All right, so I'm here with the 85mm 1.8 by Yongnuo. I've got my wife here, if you want to come over here and join me. I'm going to be shooting some portraits here at this location. It's been a long time since I've shot any portraits. Some storm clouds are starting to roll in, so the lighting is not exactly what I wanted it to be. But regardless, we're going to try and get some good photos. It's been a while since I've shot on the 85mm focal length, so we're going to hope that turns out well. Oh, the lighting actually looks really good right now. Really soft, really clean. This art installation is really cool, so my goal with this is going to be using some of the pillars that are in the front and using that as a foreground element to try and add a layer of depth to the image. Perfect. I'm gonna come over from this side. Just stay just like that. Cross your arms. Let's try that. So now we're gonna take some close-up portraits. We're gonna test the minimal focus distance on this lens. I don't expect it to be great, but we're gonna see how it is. All right, I'm probably about two and a half feet from her right now, and I'm still locking focus on her eyes, so that's actually pretty good. All right, if I can have you turn around this way, I think. Come in a little bit closer. All right, this is the final location we're gonna do. As you can tell, the storm clouds are starting to roll in, so we're gonna have to wrap this up soon before the rain hits us. I think I already felt a couple raindrops hit me. Before we dive in and talk about this lens, all of the photos you just saw were edited with my Lightroom presets, which you can go over to my website and check out. Now back to this lens. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with these Chinese lenses that I've been reviewing recently. For a long time, they've just been categorized as budget lenses, but after the Viltrox 28 1.8, and now this, maybe it's time for us to stop underestimating them. I've gone through and edited all of the photos from the shoot, and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the sharpness. Is it the best? No, but I didn't really find myself looking at the photos wishing they were sharper. The lens actually holds up pretty well on a 61 megapixel sensor at f1.8. I did not notice any kind of vignetting, and the bokeh of this lens actually looks really, really good. I used to own the 85mm 1.8 by Sony, 
And dare I say, I think the bokeh from this lens might actually look better. Sadly, the clouds started rolling in as we began shooting, so I didn't really get to test and see if there was any chromatic aberration on the lens. I could imagine there probably is a little bit, but I wasn't really able to gauge how bad it was since there wasn't any harsh light. The size of this lens isn't too bad either. Here's a size comparison for you guys to see what you think. But it doesn't feel front heavy on the Sony a7CR, although it's constructed entirely of metal, which is also a bonus. There's also a programmable button on the side, so you can program that to do whatever you want it to do. The autofocus held up extremely well, so it didn't really hunt to focus at all. I also shot a few video clips as well, and the autofocus held up for video too. I'm really trying to say something negative about this lens, but I'm struggling to find anything bad about it. So for a $345 lens USD, I'm pretty impressed. From what research I've done, there is an older version of this lens, and you can tell them apart by the red ring near the aperture ring on the older model. So keep that in mind, I will link this version of the lens down below, but at the time of recording this video, it does appear to be sold out on Amazon. Just a heads up. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've never heard of Yongnuo before, but after using this lens, I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for what they release in the future. So don't underestimate their lenses just because they are cheap and affordable. I'll go ahead and throw some more sample images that I've shot with this lens up on the screen now, and you can see what you think. I think this lens is a great option if you're looking for a good 85mm lens to add to your kit. And there we go, that is the 85mm 1.8 by Yang Nuo. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to help support me. And I hope I can inspire you guys to get out and take more photos. Go out and shoot.